You think it's gonna fit? Oh, watch the wall. I think you're good. So we're building a, a new office for our digital manufacturing lab and we're trying to determine whether or not the printers are actually gonna fit in through the hallways because they're quite large. Up down that hallway and into that room. Okay, so you gave me a PDF file. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to use a quick screen capture utility to convert that into uh, an image file. So we'll just make it a PNG. So to begin the process, we'll get into a sketch, and then we'll bring up the sketch picture command, and we'll import our image. So right now it's not really scaled to anything. We don't really understand the exact size of this, but we can see down here the, uh, the architects labeled this for us 29, and 29 feet 7 inches. So we're just going to move this around a little bit, get this to match up here. All right, so I'm working in inches, but we can just say 29 feet, seven inches, and now the, uh, the image is scaled to that. Once we have the sketch picture position, we're gonna go ahead and open up a brand new sketch, and we're gonna trace in lines to represent the walls. So we'll just capture the important walls to our collision detection scenario here. And once we've captured those, we'll begin extruding them out. So here I'm just using one master sketch and then the contour selection tool to identify the different areas of the sketch I'd like to make into walls. And once we've got all the walls extruded out, we'll go ahead and start to build an assembly. So we'll just start the assembly right up. And first things first, we'll insert our layout. From there I'm going to go ahead and insert a cube that represents the size of our printer. And then we'll constrain that so that it lies on the floor. All right, now let's begin testing the motion. So to determine if we can get our 3D printer into the new space, we're gonna use physical dynamics. This is the most realistic flavor of collision detection. As we drag that 3D printer around, you'll notice it's able to interact with the walls. We can just slide that into the space. So it looks like it's gonna be a tight fit, but we're gonna be able to get our 3D printer into the new digital manufacturing lab. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. You saw how we were able to take that PDF file, convert it to an image, and then use that as a sketch picture and trace over the top. We used physical dynamics to test the motion, and it looks like it's gonna work.